Hey, you might not know it looking at me now, but once upon a time, I used to be somebody. <laughs> I can see the doubt in your eyes. I have trouble believing it sometimes myself, but it's true. I had it all. Flash cars, ocean views, my own multinational company. I even had the perfect wife and family. Hmm. All right. Late one dark and stormy night, I was coming down the stairs for a glass of milk, and I stumbled across this kid, this punk, breaking into my house. He pulled a knife on me, and the next thing I know, I'm on my back, staring down at the ear on the ground beside me. I, I, I just remember feeling so lucky to be alive. And if I'd known what was coming, I'd have begged him to put me out of my misery right then and there. You don't know what it's like at the top. Everybody watching you, judging you. To cut a long story short, no pun intended. The company stocks plummeted and I was out of a job. They said I was too soft. So did my wife. Then I was wandering the streets, eating out of the gutter, sleeping in garbage cans. And then it hit me. Uh, oh, uh, oh, my life was perfect when I had my ear. All I had to do was get it back. And that's when I saw this. Can you believe it? Growing an ear on the back of a mouse. <laughs> it was like all my Christmases had come at once and all my prayers had been answered. I got the very best genetic engineer I could afford. Well, beggars can't be choosers, right? Anyway, soon I'd have my ear back. Nothing else would matter. At first, I couldn't bear to watch. But as the ear began to take shape, my fascination grew. I even took a bit of a shine to the little guy. And then when the time came to, you know, I almost felt sorry for him. Almost, mind you. This was my future we were talking about. But, but here's the thing. As the doc was getting ready to kill the mouse, it didn't panic, it didn't kick up a fuss. It just turned its little eyes staring into mine and waited calmly for the end. But life goes on. And the mouse was all but forgotten. I had my ear back, and the world loved me again. The company thought I was hard enough for the top job again. The, the wife wasn't complaining either. And then it happened. The doctors found what they said was a tumor behind my new ear. Tumor. Ah! A mouse was back. I knew it. They said it couldn't possibly be true. All I could think about were those beady little eyes boring into the back of my skull. The press picked up on the story, and I was more famous than before. Mouse man, they called me. I was hunted and hounded. I was a haunted man. I fled, hiding below the very city I used to call home. But there was no hiding from the mouse. There in the darkness, he whispered in my head sweet promises of warmth and comfort and all the cheese I could eat. My world was slowly turning yellow, and it was full of holes. Then, one dark and stormy night, why is it that everything really big always seems to start like that? Anyway, there was a part of me that Mouse couldn't dig his claws into. A little piece of humanity that stood up and roared, I am not an animal! <laughs> I don't know who was hitting who, me or him. Then something snapped, and I grabbed the first thing I could find, and I cut him out of my head. I don't know how long I was out, but when I came to, the mouse was gone, and so was my ear. I suppose 
That should have been the end of my sword of little tail. But it's my year. Mine. <sighs> Once I get it back, well, you know how it goes.